Hey YouTube, this is the art of prepping. Today we're looking at uh, a knife made by Mora Knives or Mora of Sweden. And uh, they're made, of course, in Sweden. And uh, they have also make, a, it's basically another brand under the Mora brand, and it's called Baco. I believe that's how you would pronounce it, B-A-H-C-O. Baco, and um, these are made in Sweden, of course. And this particular one, you can get it in different kinds of steel. This is a stainless steel one. I believe it's probably some kind of uh, Scandinavian uh, steel. Um, I know it has a Scandinavian grind on it. Very sharp out of the box. Kind of spooky sharp. I did put uh, um, basically a 90 degree uh, bevel on the spine of the blade so that I can use it to strike on my ferrule rod to create fire. Um, the sheath, as you can see, here's the, uh, here's how it says here. It's a uh, Baco uh, Laplander, uh, is what it says on there. And uh, I put a um, Ranger band on there, holding a magnesium bar and a flint striker. So that's just another option that I can use. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, you know, I, I really like this setup. It's, it has the a belt uh, belt loop that just basically just slips over your belt, locks in. I put a little bit of bungee cord here. Not that it needs it because it retains it very well in the sheath. Uh, it just simply just slides in and it clicks in. But um, just for comparison of size, we have the Streamlight Micro Stream little light there. And you can see that it's, uh, it's not a very big uh, knife at all. There's an Altoids can and a AA battery. So uh, I'll just uh, measure quickly the blade for you, and it's roughly four inches, and overall it's, uh, it's about eight and a half or so inches overall. And uh, <clears throat> when I bought this, I bought it in a set, and it was very affordable. It was probably around like uh, $30, and I bought it with this uh, Baco Laplander uh, you know, folding saw. And so this has a uh, push button lock or a plunge lock, and uh, you push you know, it locks in the closed in open position. So uh, how you do it? You just push it and use your other hand, which I'm holding the phone right now. But uh, it's it's a pretty cool um, it's a pretty cool saw, very lightweight. And this came in a set, so um, I'm gonna attempt to uh, to open it here. I'm gonna try to wedge this phone under my neck. And get this started. Okay, I got it. So here we go. And uh, and you can just open it up. It's difficult doing it one hand, but there you go. And it locks in that position. And uh, it's a pretty big saw. But uh, anyways, so I guess this is a double review. So it's on the saw and and this um, this particular knife. It's it's kind of just like reminiscent, if not the very much the same as the uh, Mora Companion. It has that rubber overmoded handle. Super grippy, comfortable, and uh, highly recommended uh, for a bushcraft knife. Great for survival and camp chores. Um, if this is the only knife you carry in the woods, uh, you wouldn't be that, uh, not in that bad of a shape. You can do all kinds of things from feather sticks making to uh, procuring small tender and so forth. So just want to let you look at these items and just check it out. You can easily find these like on Amazon or eBay and so forth. But thanks again for subscribing and catch you later.